All right, welcome to the Sheraton Grand Salzburg here in Salzburg, Austria. About a 10 minute or so walk from the main train station, so really nice location. Um, this is an upscale Sheraton, so it's not a traditional Sheraton like you think of, you know, kind of near airports and even in downtown locations and whatnot. This is kind of one step up from that. So um, to give you a little bit of a background here, I used a 40,000 point certificate uh a night here at this hotel, and this hotel was running 52,000 points a night, so I used 12,000 points to top that up. And then I applied a suite upgrade on top of that, and they assigned me the penthouse suite. And according to the front desk, this is the best suite here in the hotel. So super excited to be here. I kind of lucked out, I think, on this one. Um, let's start off in the front here. And there's some interesting details, not only to this room, but some of the stuff uh, that's accessible with this room. Uh, so as you come in here, you've got just a normal powder room here, kind of a guest bathroom. Uh, there's an area to store luggage here by the door. Uh, a shoehorn, that kind of stuff. There's some closet space with, um, you know, luggage racks and hangers and that kind of stuff. So all the, the usual here up front. Same thing, we've got some closet space here, um, robe and ironing board and, and that kind of thing. So pretty much basic um, closet space up here up front. So coming into the actual room, We've got a dining room table here uh, that can seat four. They've placed out some fruit and, and some water, which is nice. Uh, coming into the rest of the room here, we've got a nice little sitting area, living room here, so kind of perfect spot here to watch TV. This is a great room if you've got friends over or that kind of thing. Uh, there's a little area to work here, a little desk space. Um, coming in further, and here's kind of one of the cool things about this room. Really high-end appliances, so we've got a nice Nespresso machine here, um, some extra water. And then down below, not only is there a fridge, but everything in the fridge here is completely free of charge. So that's included when you have um, access to this room. And I'll, I'll kind of say it now that I'm on the mini bar topic here, right down the hall, so this is on the seventh floor, uh, there are two clubs in this hotel. So there's one club called Etage 7, and then there's just the normal Sheraton Club, really, on the bottom floor, uh, which is for Platinums and Titanium. So in order to get into the Etage 7, which has, from what I understand, real food, for lack of a better word, um, you know, true breakfast, true dinner, that kind of a thing, you need to be in a suite uh, or pay for it. And so when you use a suite upgrade here, a suite night award, and you get a suite, that comes with the access. So uh, if you want to guarantee yourself that better club, that's how to do it. Otherwise, if you don't, uh, you'll get just a normal club down below. And from what I understand from reading various forums and whatnot, if you are complimentary upgraded to a suite, uh, you don't get the access, but if you use the certificate, you do. So just some kind of basic details here to keep in mind. Let's look out on the balcony here because that's one of the cool things about this room. It comes with a huge balcony and unfortunately it's a little bit cold here. So, um, but when you look out, we've got a uh, lounge chair over here. It's got some snow on it, of course. We've got a um, dining table over here. Again, sorry, there's some snow on it. Um, but as you look out here, we can see pretty much all of Salzburg sort of straight ahead there. And this view would just be incredible in the morning. Uh, but the, uh, the view is just kind of outstanding here. Um, and uh, this is a really nice, nice, well-located hotel. So unfortunately, I'm not going to make much use of this balcony just because of the weather. But there it is. So if you're um, staying at this hotel, maybe consider booking this um, during the summer. So coming back around here, we've got just our main bedroom here, uh, big king bed. We've got uh, just a you know, normal chair over here, kind of this weird pole in the center, but uh, light, uh, I'm sorry, the um, skylights here are controlled with a remote control. Uh, over here is our bathroom, huge bathroom, and you're probably wondering what that noise is, and I'll kind of explain it here in a second. Uh, we've got a soaking tub over here, Normal, um, two vanities over here, 
just a huge bathroom here. We've got our toilet area over here. And then, from what I understand, and I think we're starting to see it here. Yep, so this is a sauna. So I've turned on the sauna here so you can see this, but I mean, the whole area here is just uh, soaking in, in, in steam in there. And I don't know if I can turn it off. I guess I can, there's a switch right here. So that is kind of cool that there's a, a sauna uh, within the room, but um, I feel that steam already out here. So this is the uh, penthouse suite here at the Sheraton Grand Salzburg. Real excited to be here. I mean, this is a fantastic use of a certificate and a sweet night award. So super, super happy about this. Uh, I'm really happy I get the good club access because um, the club downstairs, from what I understand, just kind of has mediocre stuff where, where you can get a full dinner up here. So uh, that's the story of the Sheraton Grand Salzburg. Uh, 52,000 points here for the evening. Rates here were running, uh, cash rates about 400 US dollars. So uh, not a cheap hotel by any means, but pretty well located here in the city.